So what we're going to do in this tutorial is look at creating what are called cascading drop-down lists and that is where you use data validation um, to base the values in one list on the value already selected in another list. Uh, to pin it down to what we're going to do here basically uh, the location list will list all the locations for our business and the employee list will list the relevant employees for the location chosen here. Now to do this I've had to create um, the lists on a separate sheet. It doesn't have to be on a separate sheet but it's a little bit neater if it is. Um, basically here are our locations London, Birmingham, Bristol and these are the staff at those locations. Now to make this run smoothly we're going to create names for these lists. Names are just another way of referring to ranges within our uh, spreadsheet. It's a pretty easy way of doing this. We can get Excel to name these columns based on the names that are already at the top of the columns. To do that we just select our, uh, our range, our little table. Uh, we need to go to our formulas tab which is already selected on mine and then within the formulas tab click on create from selection now as I said it's going to base the names on the top row within our table we don't need a left column tick for that reason click on OK and just to reassure ourselves that those names have been created we can see what they have up here so let's go back to our drop downs here first of all we want to create our drop down list of locations now to do this we go up to our data tab click on data validation and we're basing our uh, data validation on the list and the source of the list as we know is in the list sheet and it's these three values here ok so now we've got our drop down list of locations that works fine um, next thing is a little bit more tricky is getting our second drop down list uh, so don't forget whatever is chosen here provides the basis for what column is uh, going to appear here now just to note before we do this um, because basically we're asking Excel to list the named range London, Birmingham or Bristol based on what's in this list which comes from this list here these values must be exactly the same as these values so this is how it works we go up to data validation choose list again but this time we're going to use the indirect function and that basically the indirect function basically allows us to say um, the range we want to refer to is actually named in a separate cell that's why it's called indirect because you're indirectly uh, referring to it so A4 there So I've got Birmingham selected at the moment, so I would expect to see Fred, Philip, Kate, Sarah and Joan. Seems to work. If I chose another one, let's say Bristol, I'd expect to see Harry, Paul and Tim. And it seems to work. Okay, that's how you create cascading drop-down lists in Excel. Thank you very much.